This interview is for information only and should not be considered as investment advice or a recommendation to buy shares in the company featured. Welcome to this stock box interview. the acquisition of 171 additional mining claims that are contiguous to the Abonga project. And these claims cover exploration ground with high prospects for critical metals, including uranium, rare earth elements and lithium. Well, joining us today is CEO Darren Hazelwood. Thank you for joining us. Darren, how are you? I'm very well, Mark. Thanks for having us on. And congratulations on your on your work in, in Zimbabwe this week. Uh, quite remarkable coverage. And and uh, I think you should take a lot from that, Mark, as, as I know the market did and, and premium African mineral shareholders. Well, thank you, Darren. Yes, I'm glad you enjoyed it. I look forward to visiting Panthers projects, maybe in the not too distant future as well. You are always welcome. I'm going on Saturday. Come and join me. <laughs> I'm in London, I'm afraid. But we'll talk about your uh, your trip and there'll be more opportunities, I'm sure. But just looking at these, uh, these this recent announcement then of these 171 mining claims that you've, uh, you've taken, how does it impact the company's overall exploration strategy and potential resource development in the, re- in the region? Yeah, I think this highlights the size and potential of a bonga. So what, as a business, what we're doing is it's constantly reviewing our strategy, our holdings, what we're doing, what the aim is. There's there's a clear aim at Abonga. The market doesn't probably understand quite the sheer size of Abonga. You know, we're we're massively over 60,000 acres there. Um, We have, there's multiple areas. We now know that Abonga contains mineralization. So as a result, we decided to review the entire Greenstone Belt, what we've got, and what else might potentially be available. And this area, frankly, it, it, it stuck out dramatically. And now was the right time for us to, to, to take that as part of the wider package, because the aim for a bonga has always been in terms of offering everything that majors want. We know that that assumption and our moves have been right there through conversations we've had. And um, this is kind of just just adding to that to that package, and it, it adds to the prospectivity. And we the the information and data we we we've got from this area, and that is largely gleaned from the the Ontario um, surveys conducted in the late nineteen nineties by the Ontario Geological Society. Um, they they are remarkable, and people often. Um, don't look into the detail. Uh, and whilst some may look and say, oh, it's, it's more. Yes, it is more, but a bonga contains multiple areas. And as a result, it offers multiple opportunities. And, and it just adds to our package there. And, and we, we're really pleased to get this now. So why have you taken the decision to do this now? The, there's no doubt about it that the market has been challenging in terms of corporate structures, um, the amount of risk capital available in the markets, and that's a global phenomenon. You've got, in, you've had the same in Australia, uh, in, in Canada, uh, and, and we all know in London it has been, has been difficult. But we also know that we're moving in fact, we're in an era of, of, of looming supply shortages across it, almost the entire commodity base. So these, these, we have to position the business so that it's ready to, 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 to ride this upturn that is going to come. And we're actually seeing signs at the moment. The market's starting to come off of its bottom. Um, there seems to be a lot more of a positive, a general positive vibe. We haven't necessarily seen the liquidity into the market in, in its entirety. But once that does go, then these opportunities are going to cost a huge amount of money. So it's all about positioning. When the market's where it's been, it's about positioning the business. 
And that's what the last few months has been about with Panther, positioning the business without killing the business for our existing shareholders. And that's what we've maintained. And, and that's what we will, will continue to do because in, inevitably, in math to maths, uh, and inevitably, this sector is going to go and it's going to run long, it's going to run hard. And to position us without destroying our corporate structure is the, is the right thing to do. Now, it does mean that people have got to be a little bit patient with us. Um, but you, you, you have to have patience if you want to get those, those, those true returns. Um, I have never, ever been keen on a business that as, uh, its corporate structure has, it has been blown out to such an extent that any success, all it'll ever do is get you to your highs. Um, with us, if we, we, we don't need to do any deals in terms of, of, of any projects. We're very happy with what we've got. We believe we've got discoveries within the portfolio we've got. So we don't have to issue stock for that. All we need is to explore. And, and, and exploring, in our case, is all about drilling now. And just, just looking at what we've got, make sure that we are absolutely nailed on with, with the offering that Panther has and that we haven't overlooked any opportunity within our existing structure. And, and that's, that's why, where it comes to, to, to taking these claims now. Okay, well, I would tend to agree it's the right time, particularly there with the rare earth, anti uranium as well, and lithium. I mean, lithium price is doing extremely well, battery grade lithium, just in the last week, really. And just a, a bit of an bit of an insight, I was talking to a geologist whilst I was out in, in Zimbabwe who involved with a lot of different projects. We talked about the mining cycle, the, the sort of typical seven, eight year cyclical cycle. And I said, Where do you think we are now? And he said, Well, I judge it on how busy I am. And I'm completely overrun at the moment. And I think we are just in the year one, year two of the next kind of five to six year cycle boom time. So I would tend to agree your timing is pretty good, particularly within those uh, commodities there. Now, of course, you are heading out, aren't you, Darren? So what's the objective of your trip to Canada? Yeah, I, I fly out tomorrow early tomorrow morning. Um, I'm in Thunder Bay Sunday and Monday. Um, I've got a, a, a very busy schedule. On, on Sunday and Monday, multiple meetings. And, and this is all about making sure that we're maintaining our relationships and indeed de de developing um, um, new relationships and, uh, and, and getting face to face with people that we've maybe talked to over the last few months. And um, it's developed to such a point that, that now we need to get face to face to just to see the whites of each other's eyes as we, uh, as we look to advance the business forward. Um, I, I, I've spent a lot of time communicating with, with, with Canada uh, over the last few months uh, on different things at various levels with, with all different, different companies and, and, and businesses. So yeah, it's, it's an exciting time in, in terms of Panther and, um, it's about just, just cementing that, those relationships. And then Tuesday head over to, to Dotted Lake. We know. Um, the prospectivity of Dotted Lake. I've been very vocal about this. We are looking to, to now put forward, uh, drill, drill permit applications. And that's going to mean some in community engagement. Um, we, we'll also hopefully have some, some, uh, so, so some others from, from, uh, from, from, from bigger companies and Panther certainly. On, on site as well, which, which is going to be exciting times for us. And, um, yeah, it's, it's just about just nailing that last detail on dotted. And then, then you'll see those that hopefully you'll see those applications going. We have got to engage with, with the local indigenous community, of course. And I'm, I'm delighted that I'll be actually getting face to face with them, uh, on Thursday of next week as well. And, um, we, we, we that's all absolutely critical part of this and so it should be uh so no it's 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 good times and it's uh it's come at the right time as we just as i say as we just start to see the market market move excellent well thank you very much darren hopefully we can do a quick catch-up when you're on site next week but for now thank you very much for your time darren hazelwood ceo of panther metals mark let's make sure we do catch up on site i'm, I'm sure we can uh, offer some some reasonable content but n but nothing like a a lithium plant that's that, that, that's that's just been turned on in in Zimbabwe, but hopefully our, our shareholders enjoy the content all the same. Thanks, Mark. Excellent. 
If you enjoyed this interview, then give us a thumbs up, a like or a retweet. Subscribe to us on YouTube or follow us on Twitter and hit that notification bell to be the first to know when we release new content. There's loads of great content on our website too, across all our programs at stopboxmedia.com. Thank you for watching.